They turn prospects into predetermined buyers rather than shoppers. Word of mouth is the way to build a sustainably, commercially profitable business. Gang, welcome to another episode of Backstage Business, the show that follows entrepreneurialism here in our great country of ours in the United Kingdom, but broadcast across the world on the Wibbly Wobbly Web. And today's a really exciting day for me because we are recording uh, the audiobook of The Experience Business, which is our new book that came out a few weeks ago. Uh, so we're going to the studio now. We're in Tottenham Court Road. I don't know if you can see this is the capital city, greatest city in the world, isn't it, Chuddington? London, London, London. Click subscribe underneath and the little bell and we'll notify you uh, when everything uh, comes up when we do new videos for Backstage Business. Come on then, sun's shining, let's go. I was infected early on with that disease I call entrepreneurialism. Success building isn't for everyone. It comes as a result of hard and smart work. Now, let's go back to my youth. I needed a business to occupy my mind and fulfill my destiny. I needed to make a start. I needed experience. Trouble was, I had passion for entertaining people. I loved magic and performance, but I also loved business. So I created an entertainment business called Party Man, a business that could turn my teenage visions into reality. So chance we're just there. Uh, we're a third of the way through um, doing the audio book for the experience business. God, it's hard work, that is. And I'm sitting on the most uncomfortable chair since uncomfortable chairs were invented. I feel like I've just got a hemorrhoid in the last two hours and another one is about to burst through. Um, it's hard work doing this. Um, and uh, I just it's, it's hard work. I feel like I've done a four days work and there's uh, a lot more to go, each other. I'm just having a little a 10 minute break and hopefully they're going to find me a more comfortable chair. I won't carry on now. Do part two of 24. <laughs> The business that says thank you in an outstanding way is the business that lasts. But this needs to be done in a way that leaves customers in love with it. Let's look at why to embrace the thank you from a business perspective. Marketing costs money, it just does. Testimonial marketing is a byproduct of great service and in many cases absolutely free. It's like any other marketing, it's hard to track all it does but you know word of mouth is working its little booty off for your business when you do a good job and it certainly works. Pretty much everyone has bought as a result of testimonials. They are far more effective than expensive marketing. They turn prospects into predetermined buyers rather than shoppers. Word of mouth is the way to build a sustainably, commercially profitable business. Take advantage of your word of mouth asset. Even when you're totally and utterly overbooked or oversubscribed, this is a seriously smart thing to do. Not only does it mean you can put your prices up and increase your profitability, it means you can elevate your status to being famously the best. So guys, we're over halfway through the experience book audio business version. And I'll tell you now, one of the things, this, this whole business, which is really interesting, um, is that there's four floors here dedicated um, to people recording stuff. But this whole floor here, we're in Studio 3 of, I think, eight, uh, where they just do audio books. So this is a real booming industry. And I think something that we, we need to talk about more at Entrepreneurs Network is that the, the sound thing is growing massively. They, they started this. this is, they're, they're an audio business that um, they were doing stuff for radio shows, making ads and stuff like that. But since October, the the, the, the requests to do just audio books mean that they started a, they had to rent out this whole new space, do a whole new floor just for audio books. So sound, I think, the things like Alexa and um, you know where people are wanting sound on device. So you could be you know making your dinner and say Alexa, play me this. So this is a real fast-growing medium. I mean, sound's been. Um, around for years, hasn't it? You know, it's been around on radio and stuff, but now you're getting sound on demand, like you're getting video on demand. You can literally say to an intelligent Alexa, Google speaker, one of those things, play me something on weight loss, play me something on business, play me a story on, and it's happening, and that's why we need to be part of this. Now we've got a good friend of mine, Daniel Priestley in there, he's done the forward for my book, smart guy, look at there he is, Australian guy. 
fumbling around on the iPad reading his forward, uh, which is going to go into the book. So hopefully people are going to buy this book, Chudders. Do you think they will? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Come on, let's keep going. Take your team to the market leaders, show them what's possible and show them what's bad. My biggest business decisions and ideas have come from seeing what others do. I've spent thousands of pounds traveling so my team can see what the competition does and how in many cases we can put our spin on it to do it better. We do this every month and sometimes more often. After all, the experienced business needs to experience other businesses to educate itself. Okay guys, so we've finished the audio book. Oh, that was a marathon session that we did there. And now uh, we're just going off to the bank. Uh, we're going to go on a holiday tomorrow, Charlie. So backstage business stops, but there is previous episodes keeping going. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly just check in with the bank, make sure everything's tickety-boo there. Uh, we've got uh, some new deals that we want to do in the new year, so I just want to see how check out on those things and see the progress of those. It's been good day, Chuds. I mean, really good. So thanks very much for watching Backstage Business, uh, and I'll see you after my holiday. It's been great. Thank you very much for watching. See you. Bye.